Good morning, everybody. Look what we did. Yeah. Some old barn hinges. They just happen to be just the right width, you know. Here's what I did. Check these bad boys out. It gives you an idea. And they open up, you know. I just thought, man, what about the connection? Now, well, if I open them up and weld them, they will be connected. So that's what I did. And I took some old fence posts, just some stuff I bought for steel, you know, just to have some steel in case I wanted to make something. And I did this. Here's what happened. I'm not sure about hanging them yet, you know, hanging the cables or the parts, but I don't care about these because I just got it for the wire, you know, to make battery cables out of on other things. So I already had them. And I only give it like six bucks for 20, 15, 20 foot. I mean, it was outrageous, or it was reasonable, is what I'm trying to say. It was outrageously long. But yeah, anyway, there's the fence post. And I'm figuring, which I hope I'm figuring right, that this works off of surface area. So, let's see, we'll just pull it out here and I'll set it down on the floor where you can get a better look at it. So, there, see? That works, I think it'll work pretty good. And like I said, I welded those hinges solid and then, uh, you know, just got them where they was, made sure they had a real good connection. And that's real good and blurry, but anyways, did that. You know, make sure it made a real good connection, went around and got everything going on. Better off not to even mess with the camera, guys, I think. But yeah, and then I thought, well, we just lift it out like a deep fryer, you know what I mean? Clean it or whatever, and then if one goes bad, I've got a whole box full. And yeah, I think I give like five bucks for them, you know? A whole big box. I just use them for gas pedals, you know? You take gas pedals, and a lot cheaper than them cub pedals. <laughs> that's all the way. I guess I'm just cheap. But anyway, yeah, that's what I do with them. But you see how many I got. I mean, man, oh man. So I thought, man, that would make... They make some nice surface area, good steel, you know, it's high carbon content. Um, and yeah, so that's what I did today. It's kind of a rainy, stormy day, so I really wasn't into doing too much. So I just painted up some things, you know. And I seen this and I thought, you know, I'm going to do that because I've been spitting up red paint for two days now. <laughs> you know how that goes. You know, I didn't want to put anything across the bottom because I was afraid that if this would fall, it would hit it. You know, you can hang stuff. I just haven't decided how I'm going to do that exactly. I thought about coming off the top. Ooh, hey, now that's hot. That is hot. Um, but yeah, I was going to bring it up and make a hanger across the top of it, you know, something. And then I thought, well, you know, that might provoke an accident because of the hydrogen. You know, somebody come in and, you know, uh, you could have put a string on it and it would have been all right it wouldn't have made contact but what i'm getting at is you know you're still submersing a wire so why not use a cheap dollar store clamp right that's what i think and you know i can always build onto it so i'm figuring here right i don't know how good that'll be but if you don't have bubbles in there that ain't hooked you know what i'm saying it wouldn't be that hard to see that it was not making a good connection so anyway, I'm not worried about submerging the cable. We'll see what happens. Um, I am wondering about the copper wire in it, but I've seen other people go ahead and submerge it. If anybody knows for sure, you know, I don't want to make some kind of a bomb here. And if that's a problem, I'll just make an S hook or something and make some way to hang it. But I'm thinking that I can get away with submersing these, but I'm not sure. I studied, but it was kind of a quick study. So if anyone knows, man, please let me know. I'm not going to do anything anytime real soon. But it won't be long. So anyway, that's the overall setup. Of course, I might knock this off of here. I thought about drilling a hole in it, cleaning it up with a grinder, and putting a copper to it instead of this, which I might do, you know. But this one here has got me concerned. I'm not real sure. And it is pretty close here, you know, but I think you could work around it. You know, that was the whole idea of not wanting to put anything back over here so I could do this. And it's it's not too awfully close on the sides. I mean, if you was careful, you could get away with it, you know. But anyway, 
that's that. It's storm like heck here, that's for sure. Kind of let up now. I don't have to scream at the camera. Sorry if I was being too loud. It was raining, you know, how it does on 10. But anyway, that's what I've done. That's that. I uh, want to do a shout out and thank oh, uh, Murray. Uh, Murray Mayhem. You got to check him out, man. He's a pretty cool dude. He kind of like me, I think. You know, he just does with what he has, and that's what you got to do. So make sure you go check old Murray out and sub him up, man, if you like it. Uh, of course, naturally, UK Wheel Horse Bloke and uh, old Chevy, too. I don't know what he's doing. He must be asleep. He ain't, <laughs> he ain't doing nothing over on his channel. But anyway, check him out and sub him up, man. All them guys appreciate it, and they've been more than right with me. Help you any way they can. I believe they would. So anyway, have a good one. Oh, crazy said it right here in Worthington, Indiana. Later.